Okay, example 21 in our proof topic, we're still on proof by induction. Again, if you haven't seen example 17 to 20, I would suggest that you do so. Uh, this is an interesting proof. We're actually having to use inequalities, and the rules change slightly uh, for these ones. Uh, we get a wee bit more flexibility with our proof. Proof by induction that n is less than 2 to the power n for all natural numbers n. So n uh, is a natural number, so in other words, n is greater or equal to 1. So our initial step, as always, is to prove true for the smallest value of n, which in this case is 1. Uh, we've got this n is less than 2 to the n, so the left-hand side of that is just going to be 1. Right-hand side is 2 to the power 1, which is 2. So as 1 is less than 2, then the conjecture is true for n equals 1. So inductive step. We need to uh, assume true. We're going to make an estate, a statement here. Assume true for n equals k. So what is uh, that statement that we're going to declare, i.e. Uh, k is less than 2 to the k. Okay, so that's our statement that we are banking. We want to then show or dis explore, prove it true for n equals k plus 1. So what we're looking to do then is we want to show that k plus 1 is less than 2 to the power k plus 1. That's our target. And we can bank that. Okay. So we're looking to show that. So, in other words, uh, we want to start with k plus 1. Uh, well, what we got here, we can't just write that down. What we can say uh, is that 2k plus 1, in other words, well, let's start with the original, right? k is less than 2k. So it means that k plus 1 is less than 2 to the k plus 1. In other words, we've just added 1 to both sides. Okay. Now what we need to do is to try and uh, influence the power that's the, of k here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, and this is the flexibility that we've got, because I've got an inequality, I can actually increase this right-hand side here is a larger value than the left-hand side. Uh, so it would actually be fair for me to write down anything. I'm just going to do this for example. Um, I could write that down. And it would still be true. Because we've established that 2 to the k plus 1 is bigger than k plus 1, then I can add anything onto the right-hand side and it will still be true. Because we're not dealing with an equation, but an inequality, we can continue to imbalance uh, the sides. Okay? So I'm not going to choose plus 5. What I'm actually going to choose is actually just 2. Um, because, um, in fact, it would actually make more sense to... Uh, do, yeah, if I just did 2 to the power 1, effectively, because, yeah, no, I'm going to have to do 2 to the k, yeah, if I do 2 to the k, because they're adding rather than multiplying, if I add 2 to the k, that's fair enough, because 2 to the power k is always greater than 1, Okay, so I've still got, I've imbalanced it even more, but it's mathematically true. So k plus 1 is less than 2 lots of 2 to the k. And we know that that's when we've got 2, that's 2 to the power 1. Multiplied by 2 to the power k, which gives me 2 to the power k plus 1. Okay, so the interesting thing is the movement from 
at this line here to this line here. We have arbitrarily introduced a, a larger term to suit our purposes. Uh, and I worked out that I had to add another 2 to the k so that I could then uh, derive this 2 to the power k plus 1. In other words, we've shown that the conjecture is, if it's true for k, then we can form the same uh, inequality substituting for k plus 1. In other words, if it's true for n equals k, we've just shown that it's true for n equals k plus 1. And we'd have to leave it there unless we can show that it's true for a specific value. Because it's true for n equals 1, then the conjecture is true by induction for all n, uh, n is greater or equal to 1, or as it was defined, all natural numbers. And there's my proof. So the inequalities are a wee bit sneaky. Uh, you've got to kind of know what to do in order to advance your cause. But because it's an inequality, you can overbalance uh, one side uh, to suit your case. Okay, I hope that's uh, interesting and helpful. And you can go and practice some of them.